Now this sounds like some shit you be sitting around on shrooms. It's always somebody that just takes it too far. Call it post-traumatic slave disorder. This is the craziest shit ever. You just gotta know when to shut the fuck up. Bet you ain't no freedom of speech has a price. Shit is nasty, y'all. Ranch with ant, damn it. This isn't the first time a broadcaster has been taken to trial for the takes that they deliver on their platform. YouTuber Tasha K recently lost a lawsuit to Cardi B and has been ordered to pay the rapper over $4 million. That's steep. So that set the stage for what's next to come for all you self-proclaimed shock jocks armed with your salacious takes ready to fire at any minute. But keep your pistol on warm. Alex Jones was recently on trial for defamation in regards to the Sandy Hook school shooting massacre that happened in Newtown, Connecticut. Connecticut almost 10 years ago. I'm no follower of Alex Jones. I don't even subscribe to that train of thought. His content ain't my shot at tequila, so I don't rock with it. Apparently, Alexander Emmerich Jones, that's his government, he's one of those alt-right conservatives and he runs some sort of right wing nut radio show based out of Texas. That's what Wikipedia said. And according to Wikipedia, he's a prominent conspiracy theorist. I fucks with the conspiracy theorist part though. I'm not one to believe everything I see or read or even hear. So like I question a lot of shit too, but sometimes you just gotta know when to shut the fuck up because you can always go too far. And trust me, I'm not one of these super sensitive human beings that's walking around here crying and always looking for something to be mad about. Don't get me wrong now, I'm a black man in America. I got a lot to complain about, but this ain't where I start to air my grievances. This is not the time nor the place. And with that being said, sometimes you just gotta know when to shut the fuck up. Alex Jones, who's allegedly 48 years old, didn't get that memo. I guess that's what happened. You know what? Never mind. Basically, Alex Jones went on his radio show and he told his followers the Sandy Hook massacre where 20 students and six staff violently lost their lives. He said that that was a hoax. Then he doubled down and said that it was a government plot to impose stricter gun laws. Yo, this shit is wild. Like, even me as a conspiracy theorist that don't even make sense to me dude what it gets nastier too not only did he claim that the massacre was staged he also said that the families of the victims were crisis actors who was hired by deep state now this sounds like some shit you be sitting around on shrooms talking to your boy about so don't get me wrong like i said some wilder shit in my younger days i had tweets that i had to remove from like 09 because like there's certain shit that you just can't say because people perceive it a certain way and like i get it i mean sometimes y'all take that shit a little too far but whatever that's not the point my younger self would have never made those claims i would have never said that about those people i would have never like slandered that families of the victims like that is just nasty and gross low-key i wish this trial got more coverage though it was about as spicy as a loving hip-hop reunion it was going down this motherfucker alex jones is arrogant as shit alex jones and his media company is being sued for 150 million dollars by one of the families of a victim sad times man they're suing him for harassment via false conspiracy claim. Apparently, the families were receiving like death threats and like online bullying and shit from Jones and his followers. That's some real troll shit right there. I ain't surprised though because these are the same followers who consumed that conspiracy Kool-Aid that he cooked up. Shit is nasty, yo. Now see, this is where that saying, be responsible with your platform comes into play, right? I've always hated that saying because fuck you, don't tell me what to do with my platform but in this moment even i see the light it's called maturity alex jones he's a troll and he ain't the brightest when it comes to let's say emotional maturity yo miss me with all of that oh he made a fortune with his thoughts what have you done type shit i don't care because for real, like all money ain't good money. And if you got your money, like doing some salacious, nasty shit like that, you could keep it because, well, apparently you ain't gonna be able to keep it. On July 28th, Jones's media company filed for US bankruptcy protection. Not only did they file for bankruptcy protection, Jones was still hosting his show while he was on trial for defamation. Allegedly, he tore his larynx. Where, where he was ranting about the victim's father. The victim's father who is suing him, let me remind you, said this guy acts like someone who is on the spectrum. Now, 
This arrogant asshole said these statements, these exact statements, while the father of the victim, he was on the stand testifying at the same damn time. Come on, this is like the epitome of white privilege right here, right? Call it post-traumatic slave disorder or whatever, but ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no fucking way a black man would be on trial for defaming the families of victims of a school shooting, then double down on his statements via his radio show as the parents are testifying in court. Matter of fact, anybody who isn't a white male could not get that off. That is some barbaric shit right there. And to make it worse, when the father of the victim asked Jones for an apology about the autistic comments that he made, Jones replied by saying, hey buddy, I think I'm autistic too. And then walked out the courtroom. The wildest shit ever, man. This guy just doesn't know how to not be potting. He's always on. I would give him his props because that's pretty ill. That's some ill shit right there. But now fuck that. I'm dishing hate. I'm sorry. There is a fine line. Like I'm all for freedom of speech, but you can't be attacking people via your words. You might think I'm attacking them because this comes off as that. But listen, I'm just getting these points off. These are all facts. This is all shit that you did. Matter of fact, I could write it if you ain't do it. Jones was scolded several times by the judge for treating the stand like he was on his radio show. Like instead of asking questions, he'd be trying to have full on conversations, trying to, you know, trying to get his hot takes off while on the stand even his own lawyer threw his ass up under the bus the guy he paid to defend him did that shit he didn't even see that shit coming apparently his lawyer accidentally sent hella text to the prosecutor proving that jones was in fact perjuring himself while on the stand and the wild part about the whole thing, Jones found out about these texts at the same time we all found out when he was on stand. The prosecutor came up to him and was like, I'm going to shoot. Did you write it right? He said that. So now Alex Jones has found out that freedom of speech really ain't free. In fact, a Texas jury said that price tag is $49 million in damages. And on top of that, Jones is facing two more defamation trials from families of other victims in the Sandy Hook massacre. Back in 2021, he was found liable in another defamation lawsuit. But with the bankruptcy protection, I don't know if or when these people will get paid. But like it or not, the pressure is on when it comes to defamation out here. So all you content creators, be careful with your takes. Get familiar with the word allegedly. That can save you time, headaches, and a shitload of money. Rants with Ant, damn it.